Do you struggle with your composure on the golf course because you feel nervous before the round and on the first three holes? Hi, I'm Dr. Patrick Cohn. In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can handle those first tee jitters. You're watching the Golf Psychology Podcast. Here's the question I received from Dan. Dan said, I feel nervous before the round and on the first three holes because I want to play well. But then I start overthinking. When I start out nervous, it's hard to get my composure back during the round. How do I start the round with a calm mindset? Dan, great question. Um, I want to differentiate two different mindsets for you. One is what I call playing with pregame jitters or pre-round jitters in this case. The other is performance anxiety. Performance anxiety and pre-round jitters are two totally different concepts I want you to be aware of. All right, so you know what the first tee jitters are. Every golfer knows what the first tee jitters are. If you feel nervous before the round, it may be just those garden variety pre-game jitters. However, many golfers will turn the pre-game jitters into, I must be anxious. My heart is beating. I have sweaty palms. I'm a little uptight. Um, I'm jacked up. I've got this adrenaline going on. That could be instrumental and helpful for your game. So the key here is not to turn the pre-round jitters or those jitters you feel on the first few holes into anxiety and interpret it as something's wrong with me. I must be anxious. That's not necessarily the case with many golfers. So you could be talking yourself into feeling nervous. Now, the other concept I call performance anxiety. Now, performance anxiety is all about one, playing up to your potential and worrying about playing up to that potential. Or two, worrying about embarrassing yourself or looking silly out there and not earning the respect of your playing partners. So one is what I call the payoff and the other one, the payoff syndrome. And the other one I call um, social approval and worrying about how others are going to evaluate your game. It's more prevalent than you would think. All right, so if you go out there and you can get, you can manage those pregame jitters and it goes away on the first hole, golden. However, if you're out there and you can't relax or calm down or regain your composure for three holes, it's more likely that you do have some type of performance anxiety surrounding social approval or playing to your potential, for example. So that's a completely different uh, issue, and you have to address what the real fear is. What's the underlying fear? What's so important about playing well? What's so awful if you don't play well out there? Um, those are some questions you need to ask yourself and unearth what is that underlying fear that makes me so anxious. You're not anxious for anxious sake. You're out there worried about something, worried about hitting that target score, worrying about what your playing partners think, worrying about whether your playing partners are going to think you're a good golfer, or they'll respect your game. Could be many different things. That's the place that you have to start in order to gain that composure early in the round because you have to address that fear head on. All right, thanks for your question. If you want help with your game, jump over to psports.com and check out our new golf program, the Golfer's Mental Edge 2.0. Um, or you can sign up for our one-on-one -on -one mental coaching programs. That's at peaksports.com. Thanks for your question and good luck with your game.